Hey guys, welcome to this video series where I'm going to introduce you to GlideApps.com and demonstrate how you can use this powerful platform in order to create mobile web applications without writing any code. In this first video, I'm going to give you an overview of Glide, explain how it works and what kind of applications we can build with it. Then we're going to create a Glide account and set up our first app. So let's go over to GlideApps.com and let's look at the landing page real quick. Glide turns your spreadsheets into beautiful, easy to use apps. That's the perfect explanation of what Glide does, guys. You're able to create Google Sheets and then integrate those Google Sheets with the platform, with the Glide platform, in order to create nice apps. So in order to get started, we're going to click on the Get Started button and then it's going to ask us to sign up with our Google account. Now, guys, if you have a Gmail, then you already have a Google account. If you don't have a Gmail, though, what you need to do in order to create a Google account is go to Google.com, click on the sign in button on the top right, click on create a new account for myself, and then go through the process of creating a new Google account. Once you do that, you're then going to be able to go back to Glide, sign up with your Google account, give it access, give Glide access so it can um, get access to your Google Sheets, right? So allow. And once you do that, you should now be logged in to your Glide apps dashboard. So this is where we are able to create a new app and get started. Now, in order to create a new app, there are a couple of things we need to do first. If I go here to create a new app from Google Sheet, it's going to ask me to select a Google Sheet from my account. However, we have not yet created a Google Sheet um, for the new app that we want to create. So before you create a new app, what you need to do is go to your Google account, right? Make sure you're signed in and then go to this button right here. Go to Drive. This is going to take you to your Google Drive where you're going to be able to create a new Google Sheet. Right. This Google Sheet is going to store all the data for our app. Right. It's going to act as our database. I'm going to go ahead and give this Google uh, spreadsheet a name. So I'm going to call this tutorial app. As you can see, it automatically saves it. And now I can go back to Glide. Let me just refresh this. If we go to create new app from Google Sheet, we can now see the new spreadsheet. If I select this, though, we're still going to have an issue. Tutorial app has no data. Please select a different file to create a new app. So what we need to do, guys, is go back to our spreadsheet and we actually need to add some data in the spreadsheet in order for Glide to allow us to use it. Right. So go ahead and just type anything you want. I'm just going to put name, uh, image, and that's enough. Right. It doesn't matter what you put in. We just need some data in order to get started. Right. So now if I go back here from Google Sheet, I click on tutorial app and select that. It should allow me to create a new app. There we go. So now, guys, we are inside the Glide Apps platform. This is where we're going to be creating our app. This is where we're going to be editing all the user interface elements related to the app. So now that we have our app created, let me give you an overview of how Glide works and what kind of applications we can actually create with it. As I mentioned before, your Glide app is constantly going to be integrated with a Google spreadsheet. All the data that we're going to be adding to our app is going to be stored inside this Google spreadsheet. I like to think of it as our database. Um, what this means is that we can actually create any kind of crude application. Now, let me explain what crude actually means. So crude stands for create, read, update and delete. And these are the four basic functions that our apps are going to be able to perform. Right. What this means is that our applications are going to be able to create data that is going to be stored in the spreadsheet. They're going to be able to read data or in other words, retrieve data that is going to be stored in our spreadsheet. They're going to be able to update data that is stored in our spreadsheet. And finally, they're going to be able to delete data that is stored in our spreadsheet. And now, of course, you can think of all the different applications you can create 
using only these four functions. Most applications you use every single day are crude applications. So the possibilities are literally endless. And of course, in this video series, we're going to be going through this idea in more detail, and I'm going to show you how to create some nice apps using this model. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to see you on part two.